okay guys so in this video we will be talking about the vaccine everything that you need to know both from PSM and Pete's perspective and the national immunization schedule which you guys find very difficult to remember so I am here to simplify it and to make it extremely easy you can easily copy the comp complete chart in the exam and you can answer any MCQ that is asked from the vaccine so well let's start it we won't delay for this so first of all some of the things to must remember like all the vaccines are administered at a dose of 0.5 ml but you have two exception that is BCG and FIPB you keep 0.1 ml it means that what would be the root of administration this is intradermal administration now coming on to the oral vaccine we have only two oral vaccine in the entire schedule national immunization one is the oral polio vaccine and one is the oral rotavirus vaccine so opv it is given in two drops it, it is a very famous thing do bun jindgi ki you might have heard it and rotavirus is given as five drop which causes diarrhea and remember for none of the vaccine route of administration is iv okay now talking about some of the famous strains that repeatedly comes in exam okay so bcg so bcg that is uh, manufactured from the strain of Danis 1331 which is manufactured at BCG Research Institute Gendi Chennai okay now coming on to the rubella so rubella is strain what it is it is RA273 now coming on to the cholera so cholera strain is ducoral strain okay this mnemonics are taken from Navin Goval sir and now coming on to the measles so measles has three strain this is most frequently repeated PYQ that can be asked. So M stands for Moratin, E stands for Anston Jagrib, and S stands for Swazistan. Now coming on to the Japanese encephalitis, we have three strain. The one which is commonly asked is the SA1442. Also we have Nagayama strain and we have the Beijing strain. You can remember these things are in Japan so easily you can remember. Mums that is the Jadil Lane strain. Now coming on to the rabies, rabies is a pit, pitman mood strain and now the yellow fever, yellow fever that is 17D, you might have always remembered in school, yellow yellow dirty fellow, so 17D is the yellow fever strain. Now moving on to the vaccine vial monitor, so basically what it does, it tells about the potency of the vaccine, whether the vaccine is viable or not, can it be, can it be used or not. So how, what does it tell it? It has an outer circle okay, and an inner square. Basically we compare the color of the outer circle with the inner square. Okay. So always you can use the vaccine only if the color of the inner square is lighter than the outer circle. See like in first case what you see the color is lighter and expiry date has not passed so use the vaccine second case the color is lighter though it has become dark but compared to outer circle still darker and if the expiry date has not passed use the vaccine now see in third case what happened the color matches so it means it has reached a discard point now even if the vaccine has expired or not please don't use the vaccine will discard away the vaccine now that is beyond the discard point when the inner inner square is only darker hence discard the vaccine and inform your supervisor okay so like you can get confused which was inside and which was outside so remember like a cricket ground it is a circular and inside you have the pitch where we play and that you can remember it as a square to not it just in order so that you guys don't get confused okay now coming on like where is the site of vaccine administration okay so like this is very confusing like people get confused so like remember all the vaccine are administered okay to the right except few things like you can remember in the mnemonic of BJP B means BCG and both those of hepatitis B J is for Japanese encephalitis and P is for pentavalent vaccine so only three places where you administer the vaccine in the right in the left okay now coming on to the national immunization schedule like see this is the most important thing to remember like at birth if you remember okay see this is the birth okay you can make b looks like 2o okay 
that is zero dose of OPB. Then B is for the birth dose of hepatitis B and B is the BCG dose. Okay, so so birth is done. Now coming on to the 6, 10 and 14th week. Okay, this I have explained. You. Okay, see 6, 10 and 14th week is the most confused. Like do you give OPB? Do you give IPV? So just remember the mnemonic OPV or IPV for 6 and 14 weeks. Okay, and for 10th week okay just write OPV or now you see OPV what does it mean O stands for o oral polio vaccine PV is for the pentavalent vaccine okay then OR OR is for the oral rotavirus vaccine IPV I is for the IPV and PV is the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine okay so see this is the this is first dose of this the first we have given OPV we have already given one dose at the birth and now the one dose is given okay now at 10th week what happens see 10th week what you are giving you are giving OPV again you are again giving pentavalent you are again giving oral retrovirus but what are we not giving we are not giving IPV and we are not giving PCV at the 10th week okay and for 6th and 14th week we are giving both of them Okay, now coming on to the ninth month. So just remember a nine year old baby is wearing a pajama. So P stands for PCV booster. We have already given two doses of PCV. Where we have given one it as the six week, another is at the 14 week. You guys remember? Another is J stands for Japanese encephalitis first dose. M stands for measles rubella first dose that is given along with the vitamin A first dose. Now coming on to the 16 to 24 months okay like you can you can either remember this or like it's same thing only instead of pcv booster now here you will have two booster so what two booster you will give here you will give a opv booster and you will give a dpt booster okay now see what more j that is japanese encephalitis second dose m measles rubella second dose a vitamin A second dose so this solves the problem of entire national immunization schedule now you can very easily recall see I have shown you a case of national immunization schedule here okay now we'll take an example and see see BCG birth dose I tell, told it is given at birth maximum is one year of age can be given and we give 0.1 ml beyond one is of one month okay and see it is intradermal because it was 0.1 ml and I said BCG is given in the left. Now we'll take one more example. We'll take a pentavalent example. Okay. See pentavalent example OPV or IPV. Okay. So it was given at pentavalent. It is given at all 6 week, 10 week and 14 week. See 6 week, 10 week, 14 week. Okay. It is given 0.1 ml. All vaccines are given 0.1 ml. Root is intramuscular. And where do we give it? We give the entrolateral side of mid thigh. And it is on the left side. I said BJP, P is for pentavalent vaccine. We'll take one more vaccine for example. To see J first dose. Okay. Japanese encephalitis first dose. PJM, pajama 9 year old baby. So at 9 to 12 month. Okay. And here you need a buffer. That is the diluent. That is the phosphate buffer. Okay. For measles. Remember the diluent is distilled water. How will you not confuse? Convert M to a W. So no more confusion. For measles, the diluent is distilled water. For BCG, the diluent is the dilu uh, manufacturer supplied diluent. Okay, this is very important. That is the normal saline is the diluent for BCG. Okay, now see, measles rubella second dose, when will you give it? At 16 to 24 months. Okay, so this solves the entire problem of your national immunization schedule. Just remember guys what I said. And I guess national immunization schedule is sorted for you. Do comment if it help you or not consider subscribing the channel if it gives an impact in your life thank you guys